Your challenge this month is one I return to often, specifically the three bite technique, trying to be present and savor the first, middle, and last bite of a meal. As you probably already discovered, it is much harder than it sounds. But when successful, I find it's easier to give my body exactly what it needs and connect with all the joy food has to offer. One of my fondest memories around food was when one of the hardest parts of SEAL training came to an end. After being awake and on my feet for over five days, I managed to hobble over to the gas station on base to buy a pint of Ben & Jerry's chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. I sat on the grass outside my room, felt the warm sun on my body, and savored each and every cool, tasty bite until the pint was gone. It was glorious. Ben & Jerry's continues to be my go-to treat, and every time I eat it, I'm reminded not only of that perfect ending to a rather challenging week, but also to slow down and savor the rewards food has to offer. This month, your first step is to connect with the food you eat and how it serves you. When you do the work as directed in your challenge, you're on the path to an enduring and healthy relationship with food and all the good that follows. Now, we all desire to look and feel our best, and cultivating interoceptive awareness, that greater understanding of our body's internal cues, probably seemed like an unlikely path towards these goals when you first began this fuel challenge. But much like the images in the Power of Perception article below, once you see how good it feels to connect with your internal cues, it becomes very hard to unsee the power of your own awareness. Share your wins with other Made For members below, and remember, these challenges are entry points towards enduring shifts in perspective and practice. If you have gained just a bit more interoceptive awareness this month, that's a win worth savoring. Cheers.